Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to this live stream today. My name is Master Paul, and today is November 1st, 2018. It is the morning after Halloween, and hopefully many of you had an enjoyable evening. Uh, I did too. I went down to Waikiki and watched a lot of crazy people run around. But nevertheless, I hope we all had a good time. So thank you so much for joining today. We're also a couple days away from the elections here in the USA, and that's a whole other source of craziness, probably crazier than last night's Halloween parties. So welcome. And today we're going to be focusing on how to cultivate a heart of total gold. G-O-L-D stands for gratitude obedience, loyalty, and devotion. And this is some words that um, Master Shah had brought. And previously it was G-O-D, gratitude, obedience, and devotion to God, G-O-D. Uh, and L was added in there for loyalty. And so this communication will be about how we can align ourselves <coughs> to our beloved Creator with total gold heart. So I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy today's wisdom. And last night, uh, it was an interesting experience, you know, in Waikiki, Honolulu here. You have many, many tourists, so you have all kinds of different nationalities, and they're all wearing some very interesting clothes, a lot of cosplay, uh, a lot of Batman Robin stuff, a lot of actually uh, Flintstones things. There were, of course, your smattering of of um, the skeletons and the, the blood and the swords and things like that. But there was a lot of happy costumes also. So it was an interesting experience. Hopefully you had a good time as well. And so I want to thank you also. Please click on the share button to let other people know about today's live stream. For those of you that may have missed it, I do encourage you to uh, go to Dr. and Master Shah's homepage uh, he is doing a love meditation, and he has been doing it every day for the last uh, four or five days, and he will continue for another few more days. And it's a great opportunity to be in literally in a Tao Chong field. Tao is source. Chong is field. And so it's a Tao source energy field of love. And uh, it is truly extraordinary to be in this Tao source field of love. And Master Shah has recorded this live stream <clears throat> on Facebook just recently. And you can watch that again and again and be in that field for an extended period of time. It's quite healing and quite, uh, quite beautiful. So I recommend also this uh, love field, this love meditation, has been opened up to all humanity on a daily basis. And if you keep an eye on the post, Kristen will give you the posts as to how you can come in on that phone call uh, each and every day. For those that uh, are outside of the U.S., I believe you can call in on Skype. And trust me, it's worth it. It might cost you a few pennies here for the Skype, but um, to be in that love field for 15 to 30 minutes every day is, is a very powerful way to either begin your day or end your day, or even if in the middle of your day is when it, when it comes uh, it could be a truly a remarkable uh, opportunity to decompress if it's in the middle of your day, beginning or end. So I encourage you all to, to learn a little bit more about that daily love meditation. And keep an eye out, Kristen. I'm sure we'll post that shortly. So let's see who's joined us. So welcome, uh, Pamela. Welcome, Catherine Aldueso. Great to see her, Catherine. Welcome, Tania. Welcome, Archana. Welcome also to Rosetta and Marie Joy. Aloha. Aloha and welcome Pete Sands, welcome uh, Kristen Rojas, welcome Regina, aloha Sharon Dodd and Nikita McFarland, welcome, welcome Dan, uh, and aloha and welcome Sharon as well as Johnny Mambod. Thank you all for coming. So today as indicated, I will be talking about total gold. Uh, this was actually first listed in <coughs> Master Shah's book uh, and it was called Soul Communication and in this book, uh, one of Master Shah's top teachers, Master Marilyn, wrote quite a bit of information in there. and A good uh, chapter or two was de devoted to this subject matter. And so you can certainly learn a lot more by um, 
purchasing that book called Soul Communication. An extraordinary book, to say the least. Very, very well worth the seven, eight, or nine dollars that it costs to uh, to pick it up off Amazon. And it's been around for a while. You can probably find a good used version for even less than that. Um, and I'll be touching on some of the insights from that as we go. Welcome also to Tara Becker. And so, uh, <clears throat> so you can see in my chat I posted the name and phone number <clears throat> uh, and the contact information for each and every day Monday through Friday uh, it's 11:45 a.m. Eastern time and you can translate to your times um, but it's truly a great opportunity to tune in each and every day so thank you for joining let us go ahead and connect while Facebook is gathering a few more people we'll start by placing our hands in soul light soul service hand position we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. This is called the soul light, soul service hand position. And it connects heaven into our heart center. So close your eyes and I will call in the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of heaven Tao source, all committees in heaven Tao source and beyond, up to original creator, we love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow our heads to you, and invite you to please be present at this time. Dear the soul of all the beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including the angels and healing angels, the archangels, the masters and the ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, we love you, honor you, appreciate you, deeply, deeply appreciate all your service to us. We invite you to please be with us at this time. Dear beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, dear the soul of Buddha, Amitofu, Kuan Yin, Krishna, Shiva, Muhammad, all beings of light, Mother Earth, the sun and the moon, stars, planets, galaxies and universes, serving the light side, love you, honor you, appreciate you. We invite you to please join with us at this time. We thank you for your unconditional love and service. We thank you for all that you bring to the table. For all the times you have served us unconditionally, both seen and unseen, we ask forgiveness for our lack of gratitude, our lack of obedience to the divine's desires, our lack of loyalty to our own soul in its journey, and our lack of devotion to open our heart and soul to further align to the divine. We ask forgiveness for this early lifetime that we may have brought others out of alignment with aligning to the beloved divine we thank you for your presence dear the song of love peace and harmony transmitted to all souls and all universes love you honor you appreciate you please turn on we invite all souls and all universes to come to chant with us to offer their unconditional service at this time thank you thank you thank you let us all serve together by chanting the source soul song of love peace and harmony one round for anybody who is not familiar with that, uh, you can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org. So let us chant. For those that is new, close your eyes, receive the blessing. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, Lula, Wo I wash in her ling, Wo I turn and lay, Rung ling, rung, her musher shung, Shung I ping on her she, Shung I ping on her she, and English, I love my heart. And so I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. How is Mandarin Chinese? It means complete, get well, perfect. Three thank yous. The first one to our beloved creator, the second to all the beings of light who have come, the third thank you to our own soul. 
So welcome also to uh, Johnny. Welcome Tara Becker. Aloha. Aloha Lisa Carter. Welcome Master Elizabeth. Welcome uh, Mary Mancuso. Aloha and welcome Helen Barron. Thank you for taking the time to enjoy this live stream. Welcome Samantha. Welcome also to uh, Malia. Welcome Kathy Schneider. Aloha to um, Christy Collins. Welcome Claudia. Welcome also to any other souls whose names I may have missed. Thank you for joining. Truly grateful for your presence today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to cultivate a gold heart. What is gold? G-O-L-D. Gratitude, obedience, loyalty, devotion. Most of us know gratitude. We'll talk about that. Obedience. Oh, oh, so obedience. I'm not going to be obedient to anybody. This is kind of an ego response. Who are we obedient to? Except ourselves, maybe, right? We'll talk about that in a little bit. Loyalty. Loyalty is a very nice word. Many people appreciate loyalty. They want to give and they want to receive loyalty. Devotion. Devotion to who? Devotion to what? So to have and to cultivate a total gold heart is to open your heart center to the source from which you were birthed. From the moment of birth, we move away from source in almost every case. There is certainly probably one or two percent of humanity where the children grew up with truly loving parents, unconditional loving parents that gave their children enough free reign and leash to where they can grow and expand like a beautiful soul should without tampering or pushing down their growth or without forcing them in any particular direction. This then allowed their soul to become as pure and as open as it could be. There are occasionally uh, people who have been blessed with that kind of a, of a growing up. Most of us, unfortunately, have not. We've been quite challenged in our life. And these challenges cause us to close our hearts. They cause us to question our alignment to our beloved divine creator. And, and certainly not always. There are times when we are very much in alignment with our beloved God or divine creator, whatever terminology you choose to use. But there are certainly times that can happen when we question it. One of those times might be, for example, when a loved one passes on. We could truly you know, have great disagreement with our creator at those times because we don't comprehend the nature of things, why they occur. All we know is that we're very much in a painful place. These pain moments that happen in our life, be it um, a health issue or a financial issue or a relationship issue, a loss of life issue, these pain moments, they tend to close our heart. They disallow us from being, uh, from cultivating a total gold heart. And so what is a total gold heart? It is gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion. To what? To the source creator. Now, many people have different names for that. Uh, in, in the uh, Far East, they might say Allah. In the uh, traditional uh, Asian traditions, they would say uh, Lao Ten Ye, old man in the sky. Um, other cultures, they would say Buddha because they don't know uh, the difference between God and Buddha. They might think it's the same. Um, it depends on which culture you're in. Uh, some call it um, the source, some call it the Tao, some call it God. It's completely irrelevant in this conversation. Whatever resonates with you is perfectly okay. For this conversation, it is about how do we align to that, we'll say, source creator, which encompasses most people's uh, comprehension without pushing anybody's buttons. And so alignment with source creator is about keeping our heart open, not our physical heart. We as uh, humans, all humans, all seven plus billion of us have been endowed with chakras, energy centers, things of that nature. We have an energy body. The energy body comes with our soul. Our soul is the precursor to our physical body and our mind. So the soul leads the mind, leads the body. So the soul is animated by these energy systems, which include the chakras. The heart chakra is the most important of all of the chakras because it is the center through which the source creator communicates. So when we take the time to cultivate the heart center, we can uh, release 
huge amounts of blockages. We can release the pain of a loved one that leaves us. Uh, we can release the pain of our anger towards the divine when we don't understand why a loved one leads us. We can release the suffering related to relationships when somebody promised with vows of love to be with us for, forever and 10, 15 years down the road, they're off with somebody else and they took the house, the car, the kids and all the money. Um, these kinds of things close our heart, make us question why are we here. What we have to understand is that we are here for a reason and the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to humanity and all of his uh, 21 books, 11 New York Times bestsellers, uh, four number one New York Times bestsellers, you don't get 21 books and 11 New York Times bestsellers accidentally. There must be some valuable wisdom in these books and many of the one sentence secrets come in handy in talking about cultivating a total gold heart. One of them is the purpose of life is to serve. <clears throat> Even that sentence can, 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 can grab a person and go, oh, uh, why? Because I don't serve anybody, I serve myself. See, again, ego. Ego is a closed heart. Uh, a moment ago I talked about gratitude, obedience. Obedience, a lot of people, I don't obey anybody. You know, I'm only, I only obey myself and nobody is my boss. So this has to do with a closed heart. When we move through life with gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion to the Source Creator, we are in alignment with the Source Creator. That alignment then causes us to keep our heart open. When our heart is open, we can receive any information that comes from uh, external sources or from our own monkey mind because our monkey mind can beat us up sometimes but we can receive that information and not be um, derailed by it so one of the purposes of today's live stream is to teach us how we can keep our heart open so we'll start with gratitude <clears throat> gratitude for what gratitude towards who why? Why should one be grateful? Gratitude most of us don't have an issue with. We understand the basic aspects of it, why it's important. We sometimes have difficulties with why we don't have enough of it. And for the most part, a lack of gratitude has to do with um, being stuck in our own world, selfishness in many ways. Now, another word for that is ego. Um, nobody is above ego. Uh, at least if they're living here on earth, they, we all have aspects of it. There might be one or two very, very highly evolved beings that are simply unconditional servants and have no ego. They're literally here to serve everybody else and do not even think about themselves. There's a few souls like that on this mother earth, but very, very few. Most of us, we're all about fight or flight, taking care of ourselves. Uh, and it's our agenda is to make sure we're okay. Gratitude is about recognizing that no matter what is happening in our life, regardless of what is happening in our life, doesn't matter if you have uh, a cancer or if you are, are in the middle of a relationship breakup or if you just got promoted to vice president of your company, uh, it doesn't matter if you're financially destitute, it doesn't matter if you just found the love of your life. Gratitude should be applied towards each condition equally. This is a very, very difficult uh, uh, subject to comprehend and let alone apply. Um, the comprehension is certainly easier than the applying of it. But why do we need to be grateful in the face of, of, a, of a major health issue? Why do we need to be grateful in the face of a, of a major financial uh, blockage or relationship breakup? Why do we need to be grateful? It comes to having an open heart. When we are grateful, we are being in a place of responsibility. We are being in a place of the highest frequency that we can maintain that will serve that moment in front of us and the next moment and the next moment. So uh, for those, for example, that, um, that are in the middle of a relationship breakup, right? How can you be grateful for that? So much pain. What about the future? You know, what about this? What about this? What am I going to do with the kids? What am I going to do with the house? What about this? What about that? So these future fears 
disallow you to be in a place of gratitude. How can you be in a place of gratitude? First, you start with gratitude to the source. Thank you, God. How hard is that when you're in the middle of such pain, right? Thank you, God. For what? Thank you for this life. You've given me out of this relationship, even though it's very painful. I have these beautiful children. I still have a roof over my head. I have future opportunities that I don't quite understand what this is going to lead me to, but I'm grateful for all the possibilities that this will bring me. I'm not quite sure what they are. I'm grateful for any lessons that may be learned from this. We have to extend ourselves. Those who watch this live stream know that I talk a lot about Shen Qi Jing imbalances. Shen, soul, heart, mind, Qi Jing, soul, heart, mind imbalances are imbalances of positive and negative energies. Karma, what you do unto others is what happens to yourself. Same verbiage, different things. But Shen Qi Jing imbalances will always whack us over the head. This is life, guys. Welcome to life. We will have positive experiences. We will have unpleasant experiences. If any of you have only had positive experiences this life, congratulations, you are already a saint. Most of us have had a combination of positive and negative. And that is because of the law of cause and effect. It is the law of the universal law of universal service. We have done good things, therefore we have earned good experiences. We have done unpleasant things that we may or may not remember, and therefore we have received unpleasant experiences. If you're in a relationship blockage, we may have caused relationship blockages to others in previous times, and we don't remember it. Gratitude is the ability to recognize I have the wisdom to recognize that this relationship blockage may have a root cause, that I might be paying off a spiritual debt, that I may have broken the heart of this person that's now breaking my heart. Therefore, I am grateful for the opportunity to clean this karma once and for all and move forward. That's an example of how you can apply gratitude to a life-altering uh, condition. We must, as they say, look for the silver lining. Gratitude for the divine in every moment is one of the key things. You can be in a very, very... Um, dark space in your mind go outside be grateful for the snowflake if you're in a warm area be grateful for that flower and the flower essence sit down don't pull the flower out of the ground and kill it just sit there and watch it wave in the wind be in such a deep space of honor and gratitude for that beautiful flower it could teach you how to get out of your funky space who created that flower source created it show your gratitude to source gratitude is literally the salve that heals the wound of virtually every uh every pain in our life it doesn't matter if you're financially destitute it doesn't matter what the pain is it could be a mental pain you're just mentally in such a funk when we vacillate in any place other than gratitude we are not manifesting a positive future we are manifesting more negativity. It does not serve us. When we stay in a place of gratitude, we can manifest miracles because the source gives us exactly what we want. Every time. The source gives us exactly what we want. Now, the only shift within that uh, truth is that our spiritual debts, our spiritual uh, virtue is a dictator in our life if we are owed a spiritual debt because we had harmed others it will enter our life the gratitude for the wisdom gained staying in a place of gratitude in the example of watching the flower or enjoying the snowflake that is what allows us to process through the unpleasant moment with the fastest speed and the least pain it allows us to manifest the greatest happiest future what would you choose sitting in a place of pain for who knows how long or gratitude so gratitude to the source creator and all things that came from source is of the hugest and most important uh, wisdom of how to cultivate a total gold heart G for gratitude let's see who else has joined let me offer them welcoming so welcome Christy Collins welcome Marguerite Aloha Romy welcome welcome Jim Aloha Heather uh, thank you for joining welcome Penny Ann uh, welcome also to Anne Marie and aloha and welcome, Sam Samantha. 
and uh, let's see, did I miss anybody? Uh, Mary, welcome Mary, uh, welcome Alina, welcome also to uh, any other souls whose names I may have missed. Thank you for joining. Let me take a drink of water here. O, G, O, L, D. What does O stand for? Obedience. This one tends to rub people. Obedience to who? Obedience to the source. How can you have obedience to your source creator if you are not in communication with your source creator? It's very difficult, actually. So this is why the message center is so important to keep open. The heart chakra is one of the most uh, misunderstood energy aspects of the soul in humanity today people only think of the heart chakra as an energy center wave a crystal over it put a a, a, a a pink pyramid over it you know whatever they they just think okay let's just keep it clear and, and that's good the importance is to keep it clear yeah this is not irrelevant it's certainly quite relevant you want to keep it clear uh, and you can wave a crystal over it every day and it will certainly help no question on that but there's so much deeper wisdom to understand what is the purpose of the message center the heart chakra the purpose is it is the soul communication center it is the center through which heaven thou source creator communicates to you obedience to the divine is the ability to hear the divine do you think the divine wants anything other than to support you? The only thing the divine has for you and every soul in humanity is love. The source is love in creation. And so our alignment to the source, our obedience to the source, uh, can much more easily occur when we pay attention to those messages. Now we have great messengers before us, our beloved Jesus, our beloved Muhammad, our beloved uh, Krishna, our beloved uh, Buddha and so many other great beings of light have brought very clear messages of how to maintain a pure heart, how to be kind, honest, compassionate, be of service to others. All of these things are purposeful to help us keep and maintain an open heart. When we act upon those wisdoms that have been delivered to us by these great beings of light, we are being obedient to the source creator so these are very very important when are times that we're not being obedient to the source creator those are the times when we harm others or we harm ourselves when we put ourselves down we are not being obedient to the source creator think about that when I put myself down oh I can't believe I did that. I'm, I'm so stupid god I am just an idiot okay or worse when we say these things to ourselves, we are not in obedience to the divine the divine creator would not say those things to us unconditional love is very different than you stupid idiot these kinds of things that we say to ourselves many of us have adopted unpleasant things to ourselves because we received it our whole life and then when we moved out our parents don't give it to us anymore other people don't give it to us anymore so we give it to ourselves that's not very wise it's not an obedience to the source obedience to the source is alignment to the source's love obedience to the source is following the wisdom that has been brought before us when we harm others it's no different than when we harm ourselves imagine if you will the source one big light ball explodes and makes trillions upon trillions of light balls we'll call those souls you are one of those souls all trillions of these light balls all came from the same one heart you are one of those the one right next to you the soul that expanded right next to you could be your friend Jim could be another person but the minute we hurt that other person who are we hurting we're hurting all of those that are part of this original source this is a lack of obedience to source because the wisdom has come that we are all one to do what we can to serve others selflessly so often we get stuck in our selfish stuff and our own pain and our own suffering we are unable to align and cultivate a heart of total gold because we stay in our selfish things do your best to not hurt others 
we must be very careful of our thoughts because they are the precursors to the words that fly out of our mouths. We must be careful from our words because our words literally can cause other people to take their own life. Our words can cause another person to take their own life. That's how powerful words can be. We have to remember they cut. Our actions, of course, we take responsibility for. We, we clearly see the ramifications of our actions, but we have to go backwards and go backwards. But to be very careful about our words, choose ones that are not hurtful or harmful as much as possible. Our thoughts are the precursor to our words. Heaven records everything. Whenever we are out of alignment, out of, out of a place of gratitude, not being obedient to the wisdoms that have been brought to us by the beings of light, and we say or think harmful things to others, we are in fact hurting the one all creation. We are closing our heart. We are not staying in alignment with the source oneness. So obedience is about remembering and acting upon the greater wisdoms that we have learned as much as possible in our thoughts, words, and actions. That is the O part. Of being a total gold servant that is the O part of how to cultivate a gold heart gratitude and obedience loyalty loyalty to what loyalty to your soul journey loyalty to the source loyalty is one of the most important virtues that we can cultivate loyalty to our spouse loyalty to our children loyalty to our uh, hearts agenda let us say hearts agenda because our soul has an intention there is many different perspectives of what happens before we enter this realm one of them that resonates with me doesn't necessarily have to be your uh, belief is that prior to entrance we have a heavens team and that they go over with our soul what is to be accomplished in this life experience what are we to experience we may have these negative things come at us because of our spiritual debts they have earned us these experiences that we must clean up we must align uh, our soul to our source creator keep our heart open so that when these things come we stay loyal to our soul's guidance our soul is always guiding us Go left don't go right do this your monkey mind says yeah but it's gonna take 10 minutes longer or yeah but if I go this way it's much much faster yeah but that's the monkey mind if our soul says do it like this then why because our soul knows exactly the path loyalty to our soul loyalty to the divine is following the guidance it's very very difficult when we are stuck in our ego when we are stuck in our mind when we have an agenda it is very difficult when our heart is closed so a lot of this teaching is what we can do to keep our heart open being more grateful following the obedient the wisdom to maintain obedience to the wisdom that aligns us to the source all of this keeps our heart open loyalty to the wisdom loyalty to the applying of the wisdom is very very key when we listen to our guidance systems you will learn that it saves you time now one of the things about this journey is it's like a 2020 you know 2020 is always uh, hindsight is always 2020 is the statement meaning when you look behind you can always see why things occurred as a spiritual aspirant on the path we have to consciously and purposely choose to um, trust our guidance not knowing where our foot will land that's a tough one for a lot of us and what happens is hindsight is 2020 we can trust our guidance and it says go left when uh, your monkey mind says go right and after a week or so you can look back and say oh now I see why going left was the thing to do because if I had gone right this and this and this would occurred but because I listened to my soul's guidance, heaven's guidance, because I was loyal, I was able to find the right 
path and shave off a lot of suffering. This is something that happens more and more and more the more you pay attention to it. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Loyalty is aligning to the guidance from our source, guidance from our soul. Our soul, of course, is not source. Our soul is from the heart of source. Devotion, the D word of cultivating a gold heart. Devotion to what? Devotion to your soul journey. Literally, humanity is on a trajectory to return back home. It is not something they can avoid. It is literally an unavoidable thing. The universe expands, the universe contracts. The universe expands, the universe contracts. This is the nature of the universe. We are on a contraction basis right now. We are all on the journey back home. Another way of putting that, we're moving into the fourth dimension. There is a hundred different uh, analogies uh, that can be stated that all refer to we are on a path back to the heart of the one source creator. Devotion means my soul journey is the most important thing. What are some of the things that can derail your soul journey? How about those people that you've grown up with, your best friends, your mother, your father, your brothers, your sisters, and they think you are Looney Tunes because you are on a spiritual path that is different than what you grew up with. You might have grown up a devout Catholic or you might have grown up a, a certain type of religious uh, a structure and you've grown away from that and followed your spiritual path. And all of those people that were close to you now judge you, criticize you, put you down. Devotion to your soul journey means you do not put other people's perspectives, judgments, or criticisms before your alignment. If you have followed guidance, and that is what has taken you away, and if that uh, following of that guidance has opened your heart more, made you a better person, a more loving person, assisted you with deeper and higher knowledge, then obviously it is the exact and right path for you. Just because others do not understand that does not mean it is not the exact and right path for you. The lessons and the wisdoms there, when we devote ourselves to the divine, when we devote ourselves to our spiritual journey, Buddha says, I'm sure Jesus has said the same thing in various scriptures, Buddha says that life is suffering. What does that mean? Does it, does it have to be suffering? It does not have to be suffering. The suffering is man-made. The suffering is worrying about what other people think. The suffering is uh, giving in to everything outside of us instead of being in alignment with loyalty and devotion by following the obedience of the wisdom that our soul and the source has given to us through our heart centers. So devotion to our soul journey is of the greatest importance. Along the way, there will, will, with a capital W, there will be what is called spiritual testing. Spiritual testing is truly a beautiful thing. What do I mean by that? Spiritual testing is a beautiful thing. Spiritual testing is simply heaven uh, giving you an opportunity to clear spiritual debt. Spiritual testing is having giving you an opportunity to move higher in your awakening process. Do you think that Jesus just popped out of the womb and he was just instantly perfect? Do you think Buddha popped out of the womb and was instantly perfect? We don't know much about the life of Jesus. We hear that it was pretty tough until he got to his uh, teenage years and then it got a whole lot tougher. We know about Buddha was born in a very uh, loving uh, household with kings and queens, and he was a prince and, 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 and uh, everything he could want. But he left and went into hardship so that he could learn the meaning of life. So self-induced hardship caused him to remove the falseness of what he was shown. He was shown that everything was wonderful, but when he forced himself outside of the castle walls, he saw that a lot of people, it wasn't so wonderful for them. And he had, to, he had to bring that into balance in his mind. And in doing so, he came to full enlightenment. What is the wisdom here? A devotion to the awakening path, devotion to our soul journey, happens when we deal with the way life comes to us, applying gratitude, obedience to the source, 
loyalty to our soul's guidance and devotion to stay on the path. When something tries to knock us off, we have to be very, very careful. It is a spiritual test. Spiritual tests are heaven's way of saying, are you ready to receive more light? Are you ready to be a pure and unconditional servant? Are you ready to move higher on this trajectory? Or are you going to stay in this, woe is me, I'm so, my life so sucks, no, no, no. Gratitude is the key. Why do you think it's the first word? Why do you think it's the first letter of this entire teaching? Gratitude will move you from no matter what suffering you're in. If you can simply make gratitude the number one thing in every new moment, it is highly unlikely your day will not get better with each new moment because gratitude only allows in heaven's light. Gratitude only allows in good. Gratitude aligns and cracks open the pain-filled heart and allows heaven to come in regardless of what's happening in your world if you can see everything possible with gratitude even if it's a negative or it's perceived as a negative you can say i don't know what the possible benefit is this is yet but i am confident that my beloved divine creator has only love for me and I will continue to be obedient to that love, loyal to that love, devoted to that love and my soul journey, and grateful for the opportunity for all this growth. And gratitude moves you through whatever you're going through a million times faster. So to cultivate a total gold heart is a lifelong journey. It is not something that you do once and say, okay, done, figured that one out. Okay, next. Let's go wave a crystal over our heart. No, it is a task. Life will continue to bring us curveballs. Life will continue to hit us on the left side of the head and then the right side of the head. Life will not stop whacking us until we are cleared of our spiritual debts. Be more servant to others. Chant love, peace, and harmony. Bless others' lives. Do whatever you can to help others be happier and healthier. Regardless of the place of suffering you're in, there is a reason for it. Gratitude and service will jerk you out of whatever conditions you find yourself in if you do it long enough and consistently in each moment as much as possible. If you find yourself in your mind in a place of depression, fear, worry, doubt, anything that is other than gratitude and love jerk yourself out of it go help somebody be of service to somebody find anything to be grateful for even if it's a little trinket on your desk that you receive from a friend be careful sometimes we pick up something and we are grateful for it and then it reminds us of something negative when we go down the negative road Duh. put it back down find something else to be grateful for okay you have to watch the monkey mind it will jerk you out of gratitude fast so let us do a quick practice to open our heart more and align to the source. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, dropping our left hand in front of our heart center. Oh, close your eyes. Open your heart center. Repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator. And you can name whatever your name for your beloved creator is. My name is. State your name three times. Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I am so very grateful for each and every thing and experience that you have brought me in this life. I am grateful for my life. I am grateful for this breath. I am grateful that I have ears to hear this wisdom. I am grateful that my mind is not so damaged that I'm in a mental institution, mental institution. I am grateful that I have had love in my life. I am grateful that I have been able to witness rain on my face, sun 
on my skin that I have been able to hear the birds chirping and see dogs and cats playing hear and see children laughing I am grateful for the incredible sunsets sunrises and rainbows that you have blessed me with in this life I am grateful that I have not starved to death you have found a way to put food on my plate every day I am grateful that I have been able to have a roof over my head all my life things have been challenging many times in my life but somehow it's always worked out I am grateful for you always being there for me please forgive me my lack of gratitude please forgive me closing my heart please bless me my beloved divine creator to look and see gratitude in everything please bless me my beloved divine creator to remain obedient and loyal to your guidance please guide me wherever I go to see things to be grateful for to respond with your great wisdom you have brought through the great beings of light to be obedient to that wisdom to not harm others in thoughts words or actions please guide me to be loyal to the insights to the guidance that you and my soul gives me please bless me my beloved divine to remain devoted to this soul journey and to pass any spiritual testing that I am so blessed to receive I am extremely grateful thank you thank you thank you dear the source soul song of love peace and harmony I love you I want to chant to serve others so that I can open my heart become more selfless clear the blockages so I can receive heaven's guidance more clearly I want to sing love peace and harmony for others so I can generate good virtue and help clear the blockages in my life much faster I want to chant love peace and harmony so that I can be more grateful for all that I have I invite all souls and all universes to chant with me and offer their unconditional service so let us chant love peace and harmony together towards all souls in humanity with an open heart of great love peace and harmony let us offer this unconditional service with all your heart. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. With a smile. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo I wash in her lay. Wo I manly. Wrong ling wrong. Her musher shung. Shung I ping on her she. Shung I ping on her she. I love my heart and so I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony continue to sing when you chant bless others when you blessing others they're all the original soul they're all part of original soul you are blessing yourself you are blessing others lula lula li lula lula la li lula 
lalu lali lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la wo ai wo xin er li wo ai zu nan le wang li rong er bu she shang shang ai ping on a xie Xiong ai ping on he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony. Love, peace and and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you if your heart is not uplifted just by this few rounds of love peace and harmony then sing more this soul song can be found at lovepeaceharmony.org you can also download it just go to any app store and type in love peace and harmony the purpose of this wisdom cultivating a heart of gold is to remind yourself that nothing is accidental everything has a purpose including spiritual testing which is in most cases what we're going through if you have any suffering there is a root cause the solution is keeping your heart open being grateful remaining obedient loyal and devoted to your soul journey to divine down source the key is gratitude when you apply this on a consistent moment-to-moment -moment basis keeping an eye on the monkey mind not letting it control you you control the moment you will progress through whatever problems are in your world your heart will remain open you will receive clearer guidance you'll turn at the right times you'll go to the right places you will see the right people and the problems will self resolve because you kept your heart open this is the wisdom we thank master Shah master Shah's original soul all the beings of light that have come to offer their unconditional service here today we thank all of those that have offered their blessings to us in this and all times we thank all the souls for their forgiveness for our mistakes let us continue to open our hearts let us continue to be grateful obedient loyal and devoted to our soul journey to our soul to divine Tao and our source creator so I thank you all for coming I invite you to join me Sunday uh, 6 p.m. Hawaii time where we chant to serve those with the condition of cancer keep an eye on my posts on my page love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you we will see you then bye bye everybody